In this IR forum, Dr. Clifton Sherrill will tell us a little about an upcoming course he's teaching on Iran. Though this is not an ad for Troy, and this is not official information about a Troy course, it is interesting to hear his take on Iran and how he works the class. So I'll be teaching a, what Troy calls a flex course uh, in term two, which is October through December. I think the dates are around October 17th through December 18th, give or take a couple of days. Um, the course will be titled Iranian Security, and it's based on a book I wrote in 2018 called Losing Legitimacy, talking about how the current Iranian regime is losing legitimacy, aptly titled, I guess, um, and what will happen after the current Supreme Leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, departs the scene. Will we see the IRGC, this kind of Praetorian Guard, take a larger role? as it kind of has over the past 10 to 15 years? Will we see the, the hardline clerics be able to position somebody in power again? Right now, we don't really have a clear successor. Keeping in mind, in the 40-year history of the Islamic regime in Iran, we've only had two supreme leaders, right? The original founder of the Iranian Islamic Revolution, Rola Khomeini, and then his successor, Ali Khamenei, has been in place since 1989. He was handpicked by Khomeini. So we don't really have clarity on exactly how the succession process will go. And I argued in my book, and we'll, we'll visit this in the class, the idea that the current regime has really failed economically, it's failed politically, it's failed socially. There's a lot of problems in the state of Iran. And so the last remaining pillar of legitimacy for this regime is the religious pillar. And I argue that this religious pillar is built around vilifying the United States and Israel and a kind of strange amalgam of Shia theology and secular Iranian nationalism serves as the foundation of this regime. Uh, so I think it's a real destabilizing force in the region. And we look at both domestic politics in Iran and then the international uh, relations uh, consequences of those domestic po uh, politics, the foreign policy in the region and the foreign policy globally, how Iranians, or I should say how Iran's domestic politics affect its relations with the United States, as well as Russia, China, and then regionally. Um, with the flex class, we'll teach the class in person, a traditional bricks and mortar class to people in the Pacific. We'll also live stream over Microsoft Teams uh, to anybody anywhere in the world with an internet connection. Um, and third and finally, with the Flex class, for people in different time zones, they don't have to tune in live to watch the class. They can watch recordings of the class whenever it fits their schedule. So we're really trying to take advantage of the flexibility that modern technology uh, provides us. And you are going to be doing this in the Korean-Japan time zone. Just right. I'm based in Okinawa, Japan, so we do this Japan Standard Time. The sun never sets on Troy. So.